Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a day in the life of a chicken keeper. Let's go. Hi Tina. Good morning. I'm assuming this is empty. Yes. Come here. I think their food's still pretty full, but I gotta come and fill up all their waters. Come here. Trimmed all their asparagus bushes. I go over here. Oh, this feeder is low too. That's just good. So we just went to Modesto Milling. This is where we get our organic, soy-free, non-GMO feed for our chickens and our ducks. And I take it out of the bags and I dump it in the barrel and I put the lid on. That way it stays, you know, mice and any type of rodent free and, or, you know, bugs of course too. And also it, you know, keeps it fresh. So I am going to do that right now. Then I'm going to fill up the feeders. FIFO. So this is the old feed that came out of the bottom of both of these feeders. So I put it all on the one feeder. Now I'm going to dump that older feed on top of this newer feed. And then when it gets down, um, you know, it will get eaten. It just, there's like a small layer like this much at the bottom that it can't get to. So um, I like to just put it on top that way or it'll get eaten. You know, it won't just stay at the bottom of the feeder. You know what I'm saying? And for anybody who is interested, these are um, homemade, no waste chicken feeders. We did make them ourselves and I have a whole how to on how to make these on my Instagram. I will leave the hashtag right here for you guys to look up. It is no waste chicken feeder and um, yeah, it has a, a whole how to on how to do it yourself. They're really easy and they save so much money and wasted feed because as you can see, they really can't waste it, so that's pretty awesome. Now comes the fun part, the water. Gotta refresh some of the boxes. So I'm gonna take my tractor supply pine shavings. I'm gonna refresh some of the boxes in the coop. Hi, sweet girl.
doing that? Uh, so cute. Everybody's got food and water. All good to go. Now I'm gonna go collect eggs and freshen up some of the nesting boxes in the coop. Alright. Got two pretty little eggs. Cagney and Lacey. We got Thelma and Louise. And we've got three birds we still need to name. I think I'm going to name this little white one Kristen after Kristen Wig. <laughs> My beautiful girls. Shake, shake it up. Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's chicken and duck adventures. Every day back there is a new day and today was just one of those really, really nice average days. I hope for those of you who have wondered what it's like to own chickens and ducks or who are interested in getting your own chickens and ducks, um, that this is like sort of a little small glimpse into what it's like uh, owning your own backyard chickens and ducks and some of the daily and weekly tasks that you must do um, to take care of your chickens and your ducks and just to make sure that they are of course happy and healthy as they can be. I appreciate you guys tuning in today and I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, please stop right now and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next vlog video. Take care. <laughs>